In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the Tidio Live Chat plugin, which allows you to add live chat functionality to your website. It's really quite cool. You can, with the free account, there is a paid account, but the free one is more than enough for what you need, and it allows you up to three people, three agents, to be chatting in the free account. You get the web-based Tidio application for chatting. You can use the iOS app or the Android app for chatting as well. So you can always be chatting with your customers, which is good. The faster you respond to customers, the better it is. Again, this plugin's free. There is a paid version, but the free version does pretty much everything you probably need. And I'm going to show you how to set it up in the next few minutes so you can be live chatting with people on your site before the end of this hour, unless it's 12.59, and then it'd be the end of next hour. But you get the idea. It's going to be really quick, and we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If it's your first time here and you like WordPress, you like tips and tricks and getting better at it and serving your clients better, start now by clicking subscribe and then the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And this video right here is part of a plugin playlist, the top plugins for 2018. Each plugin that I highlight in the top plugins has a complete walkthrough. It's linked to in the description down below the whole playlist. And I encourage you to check those out because those are powerful plugins. And I'm willing to bet you're probably going to use at least two or three of them if you're not using them already. And with that out of the way, let's head in the screen capture and check out this tutorial. So there's two different live chat platforms I really like. One is called Tidio Chat, and it's basically a standalone live chat platform. It will allow you to pull in Facebook messages and some of your emails, which allow you to have it kind of be a, a simple help desk. This is actually the chat service we're going to cover in this tutorial in just a minute, but it's not the one that I use because I also use help desk software. So the one that I use, and after extensive research, very frustrating, hair losing research, I finally landed on Fresh Chat as my chat solution because that integrates with Fresh Desk and Fresh Desk and Fresh Chat I really, really like. And my two finalists for help desk software were actually Zendesk and Fresh Desk. But then Fresh Chat is just, it, it's better, it's sleeker, it, it's, I find it's better than the, the Zendesk chat option. But either way, this is for a different tutorial if you want to know about my help desk software. But I just want to let you know that Tidio is great. It's not the one I use for help desk reasons. Tidio is not a help desk, it's live chat. So if you just want live chat on your site, Tidio is a great option. There is a free tier which is great. That's probably all you need. Free version allows you to have three users forever. And you get live chat, email integration, iOS and Android app, unlimited tracking, third-party integrations, and Messenger, Facebook Messenger integration. How cool is that? That's pretty much all you need. The, only, the big thing that's missing is the automation aspect. And that comes in later ones. So this would be like if someone abandons a cart on your site, you could send them a message saying, hey, what happened? How can we make it better? Maybe here's a coupon. And you can automate processes with the paid versions, and you can also have more users. That's really the big difference between the free and the paid. So when you go ahead and create a free account, the first place you're going to end up is this page right here. And you're going to choose automation or live chat. And of course, if you choose automation, they direct you to the paid one, but you get a seven day free trial of the whole service. So if you choose automation, they're gonna let you set up all the automating, but then after seven days, you're gonna say, hey, listen, great work setting all that up, but now you gotta pay for it all, or it's gonna take it away. So that's what's gonna happen if you go through the automation process. If you go through live chat, that's the one we can keep for free forever. So I chose live chat. You can pick a color for your setup. We can change all this later as well. It's just like the quick setup right here. I just chose this come in where open sign. You can upload your own image by clicking on this little upload. And I chose uh, orange color, which contrasts with the website so it stands out, doesn't blend in. Click on continue, put in your name, website address, country, and industry. Uh, we're gonna go with education, why not? Then click on continue again. And now two ways to install the code. One is put this script in the header, another, is ask your developer, which you shouldn't do. If you're watching this channel, I show you to do all these things. So don't do that one. So we either put this code in the header or we use the plugin. The plugin is really straightforward, but it's another plugin on your site. So in this tutorial, we're gonna do both at once, sort of. For the code in the header, I'm gonna refer you to another tutorial in the card up above. That tutorial shows you how to add JavaScript to your site via the functions file. So you can just copy this code and insert it with the code that you get from that tutorial. 
And in this one, I'm going to show you how to do the plugin. So I'm going to click on continue. And we're going to be sent to the dashboard that's setting up for us right now. And here's our dashboard. And there's a loud ding. I don't know if you heard it or not, but we had a loud ding. I'm going to turn this down. So here we have Tidio support. And this is probably automated because I just joined. There's no way there's somebody sitting there. And that second, the first second I logged in, they, they, had, it, they had this message here. So I'm just going to send a message. I don't want to send an email. I guess that's how they have it set up. We can only send this via email. So this is our dashboard again. So this is where all the magic is going to happen. And again, when we first open this account, we have all the options available to us. And then after seven days, we're only going to have the free stuff unless we upgrade. And if you want to upgrade, there's a link down below. It's an affiliate link. Helps to keep the lights on and it doesn't cost any extra to you to go through that link. And it's a great software. Um, but I'm going to install the plugin now. I'm going to head over to the site, go to plugins and then add new. I'm going to search for Tidio. This is it right here. Install that guy. Whenever you're installing a new plugin, you should back up your site files and your database, which I didn't do because we're on a demo site here. I'm not too concerned about it. But I have a great tutorial on the card up above that shows you how to back up all your site files and your database really easily, really quickly using Updraft Plus. Great plugin, also free. Click on Activate. Now, if we scroll down the side here, there's a Tidio chat option. Open that. And we have an account. The email I used was this one. Click on my password. I'll be right back. Paste my password in here. Click on Login. Choose our site. Click on select. Now it logs us into our panel. This is where our chatting will happen. So the, our visitors will chat on the front end of our website. I'm going to click on allow for that message that popped up. That will send notifications when someone sends a chat message to me through the website. And like I was about to say, the, our visitors, they come to our, our website and they chat on our website, but then we reply to them on this application through Tidio chat or on our phones. So if we head out to our site, I'm pretty sure if we visit it right now, we're going to have a little chat box in the bottom right. That looks just like how we designed it a moment ago. So there's our chat box. So as we're here, chat with us, click on it, and they can leave a message. Click on this little gear. They can send a file, turn off notifications, and rate this conversation. And let's see what happens. Let's send a message. Hello? And it's got a ding and, an up, and a notification up here saying hello. So if I go into here, we have our chat, I can reply with, hi, how may I help you today? And that pops back into the chat right here. Hi, how may I help you today? And now I'm chatting with myself, but hopefully you'll be chatting with real people. And this is all done through this panel again. You have a list of live chats over here. It has information about them. So this live chat, the most interesting one, I think, is where this live chat started, and it's on this page. So you can tell where they're chatting from, uh, what they're likely doing. So they might be chatting from a blog post, or probably reading a blog post. Might be chatting from a product page, so maybe they're, they're interested in buying, but they have some questions. Might be chatting from an order page, in which case that's a really high priority chat where they need, need help with an order, and will possibly send you money in a few minutes. And it has a map up here of where they're from. It identified me as Vernon, Canada. It's pretty close. Actually in Coldstream, kind of a suburb of Vernon. And up here in, under these three dots, we can reassign the operator to someone else. So we're allowed to have three operators in the free account. Maybe you have a help desk or a, a support. Maybe there's a technical support person. And maybe there's you, the boss, on there. So you can reassign people based on who they have to talk to. You can export the transcript. You can send the transcript. You can ban them. And you can leave the conversation. Now, if we go back into our dashboard, there's some other cool stuff we can set up. Desktop app, if you want it, which is pretty cool, so you don't have to sign into the Tidio app all the time. Again, the mobile app, it's in the, the stores. I don't know why they have download. You don't download it here and upload it to your phone. It's kind of weird. But anyway, it's going to be in the Google Play Store or in the iPhone App Store. You can integrate with Facebook Messenger, so you can reply to Messenger messages right through this Tidio application. And you can integrate with your email. So you can use this as help desk software. It's not true help desk software because you're not, you don't have service levels that you could have in here. You don't have uh, resolving chats. Like when we're just in this chat right now, it says up here, leave conversation. 
Whereas in a help desk software, it would say resolve or resolved or uh, waiting for a reply, things like that. It's like a ticketing system, whereas this is just a, a chat system. Now the automation tab is where a lot of the magic happens. And some of these are pre-built. So welcome new visitors as they arrive. So you can send a message to them. The message that we had up here was, I forgot what it was, something like chat with us or something like that. So you can customize what that message is when they're new visitors. You can customize messages when visitors leave from certain spots. And you, you can read through all these. You can create your own automation. And again, that's only for the paid account. So the free account, you can set all this up for seven days, maybe see how it works. If you have a high traffic website, you might actually see some ROI on these things right away which makes the $13 a month or $15 a month pale in comparison. So this could make you money instantly within the seven days if you have a high traffic website. Either way, have a look through these, see if these are helpful to you. In the gear icon, we can manage our settings. These are just overall settings for the plugin, pretty customary stuff, account, operators, you can add a new operator, integrations these are quite nice. The MailChimp one especially, because you can add them to your MailChimp list in the, in the pre-chat survey. And if they integrate with Zapier, which they don't, then that would be amazing if they integrate with Zapier because then they integrate with almost a thousand other apps. And then you could actually build your own little help desk for free if integrated with Zapier, but it doesn't. Google Analytics is pretty neat. It allows you to see a chat started event, chat finished event, and you can see other stats tied into your Google Analytics, like which search did they come from? which uh, pages did they go through before they started your chat. You can see in the chat which page they're on, but with Google Analytics, you could see what their path was before they got to the chat box. Under tracking, you can get a lot of information from the people who you're chatting with, which here, this is a brand new account, so there's not much data. I'm just chatting with myself, so there's even less data. Uh, but um, when you have data in here, you can see a lot of information about the people on your site. Then we have the channels down here. This is where we can customize the appearance of this chat box. So we can change the status. The initial one was chat with us. You can change it to something else. You can change it to we're currently offline. So we have here, we can, we can choose the example of what we're working on. So this is what closed looks like. This is what online will look like. This is operators or offline looks like. And if we have a pre-chat survey set up, that would not be grayed out if we did. And the pre-chat survey we set up right down here. And we have a mobile widget, which looks like this on mobile. And then there's multi-language. And I believe this is also premium, but you can choose to work in different languages. So maybe in Arabic, a language I can't read, but this plugin is able to work in Arabic. So let's preview that. And we have it all in Arabic, which is pretty awesome. That's all translated. Pretty awesome. So I'm going to go back to English because I can't read Arabic. Under Messenger, we, of course, are able to integrate our Facebook account. Under Email, we integrate our email accounts. Chat on site. This is basically where we just were with the live chat. Uh, and under live chat, we also have a sidebar option here. So the, the chat with us can appear on the side, whereas when I first arrived on my site, it, it appeared like this on the bottom. You can have it appear on the side if you want. So you just click on enable, then the chat will appear on the side when you're not chatting. And integrations, this is where we get the code to integrate it without the plugin. And that's really all there is to Tidio. Like I said, if you want to use it without the plugin, check out the tutorial I referred to earlier. It's in the description down below where you can use this code through your functions.php file and start live chatting on your site and see what comes up because people love instant response. It's hard because you have to be available all the time, but it can be worth it, especially if you can hire someone to do the live chatting for you. So that's all there is to it. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. Check out the playlist of top plugins for 2018 in the description down below, maybe the card up above too. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better WordPress. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.